Hello Internet, my name is Quinn and this is Blondie Hacks. So today we're working on restoring an antique mortise lock set and I needed to make a special part to bring it back to life. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, let's dive in. So here's the lock set all disassembled and uh, one of the uh, mounting bolts for the case is also the mounting for this spring right here. And uh, I'll show you how this all goes together. Now somebody made this bolt uh, right there and uh, it's been repaired before. Now the problem is it goes in there and it doesn't really sit flush on the back and so it doesn't actually fit properly in the mortise on the door. And uh, you can see that they've drilled out this boss here uh, larger than it used to be. It's quarter 28 now. And then they made this bolt out of some old screw. Uh, they ground the top flat trying to get it to sit flush. and. Uh, you know, cut off the end there. It's kind of a mess. So we're going to remake this and uh, do it right. So first we're going to uh, get some layout fluid on there. This is a scrap of brass stock. We're going to mark out our dimensions. We've got the uh, end of the bolt there. And then we've got the threaded area at the bottom. And then we're going to center drill this guy, faced off the end there as well going to need tail support here because this is kind of going to be a long skinny uh, part. So we'll get that number two center drill going in there. And I'm going to turn this down to size. Now I've got this turning tool with a sharp nose uh, at a funny angle because what it's doing is turning down the diameter and also giving me that bevel that I need on the underside of the bolt. So the uh, surface finish is pretty amateur as a result, but it's going to be threaded anyway, so that's quite all right. And then I thread the end with my tailstock die holder. And uh, this is, uh, again, a quarter 28 thread. going to knock the corner off that end there and part it off. So we're parting it off real close there as you can see the head needs to be very thin so really just the bevel is showing. So we're going to ease it in there and catch it on the cardboard. And uh, last thing we need to do is make the screwdriver slot. So this is a one and a half by 132 slitting saw and that's uh, running at about 400 rpm. And we're just going to go ahead and make this uh, screwdriver slot. Now the bolt is being held in a little fixture that I made. It's just a block of aluminum with all four sides machined and a quarter inch hole drilled and reamed through the center and then a slot cut in the top. And that allows the vise to compress down on the part there without hurting it. It holds it very nicely and uh, nice and square for the slitting saw here. Slitting saws are very satisfying. And there's our screwdriver slot. And I'm just going to countersink the uh, case a little bit to get my screw to sit flush, something the original repair person didn't do. And uh, here's that final bolt that we just made. You can see that it's got a very thin head with uh, a flared underside there. And uh, it's otherwise just a basic quarter 28 bolt made from brass to uh, better match the original hardware. And the two halves of the case fit together like so. And then the guy just threads right in there. And of course on final assembly it'll have that spring mounted on it as well. And uh, that guy threads in right there. And if I did my math right, it should be nice and flush on the other side, which it is. You can see that it's not completely flush there, but it's much, much better than the uh, previous repair was. I didn't want to push my luck on countersinking that original 100-year-old uh, metal too much. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little repair project. And if you like this content, please subscribe to my Patreon. I post regular exclusive videos there, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.